Hey guys, this is Shay with Chalk and with Shay. So today we're going to be making a garden flag and we're going to be working with lemons today. Lots and lots of lemons. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this shared to my business page or my VIP group rather. Give me one minute. Okay, we're ready to go. All right, so um, we are making this garden flag and we're gonna do buffalo plaid down at the bottom. And then we're going to do this really cute, when life gives you lemons, make something sweet. And we're also gonna do this one up at the top. Um, so this was one that I just used a couple days ago, or maybe it was yesterday, I can't remember. And then I might be adding some of these cute little um, phrases, pucker up and take the wedge off. Hi, Stephanie. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. So um, this is one of our banners that I turn into a garden flag. So I really love to have a garden flag for each, hi Melissa, for each um, season or each, you know, different time of the year. So we're gonna put this on our sticky mat and I'm gonna get all the wrinkles out of it. I need to lower this a little bit. Hi, Stacy. Okay, sticking it to the mat. Um, okay, so then up at the top, I'm gonna fold this over a little bit because since I'm making this into a garden flag, I'm gonna have to sew this part of it. So um, what I want to do is get some little pins to mark off where I'm going to sew it. So that right there is probably good enough. So I'm just going to stick this pin right into here. and do that all the way across. What's everybody doing today? I just got home from a walk with my husband and my son. So I'm pretty hot and tired. This was a walking path that um, we've not, we haven't gone on before and it was like mostly uphill but then luckily coming back down, it was downhill. I'm glad that we didn't do it in the opposite direction that we did it. Cause I'd have been real tight. Okay, I'm just gonna put one more pin on here. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, so this marks off where I'm going to sew it, so I don't want to go past that point. Alrighty. Hi, Lacey. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is, well, I'm just going to measure it all out first. So this is the greenery from the, the, squeeze the day transfer. That one's a really super cute transfer. Okay, I'm gonna have this greenery going down. 
think you guys are able to see okay. And then, let's see. we're gonna do this on the bottom. Now this is not gonna fit all the way, so I'm gonna have to scooch it over. And then we're gonna put this in the middle. Okay, so I'm just gonna chop this up and get all the pieces out. This is one of our new transfers, and I tell you what, guys, lemons right now are so hot. Um, you guys probably can't do any kind of shopping or anything, but trust me when I say that lemons are hot. And um, our designers have really been doing amazing things with the lemons. So this garden flag, it's gonna go on my front lawn, like right outside my front porch. I've already got a welcome sign that I did. I think that was two days ago. And that turned out really good. And so this is gonna be off to the side in my garden, right to the side of it. Okay, so we're gonna need this one probably that one and that one and this one so I think I can move this up a little bit and then put this right here and then this can go down here. And then we can put these here with greenery going there and here. And maybe up here in the corner, I can put some of these, pucker up and take the wedge off. I think that'll be cute. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Jessica. Did I already say hi to you yet? I forget. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, what I'm going to do is take some, I'm going to take some tape to mark off where I'm going to do the buffalo plaid. Probably probably that's good. And then that can go there. We can maybe put some of these little guys over here. Hi Amanda. To move it up just a little bit more. Okay. Now, one last thing I want to measure this to make sure I have it even. That's exactly three inches. Three. And three, it's good. Okay, we're ready to go. So, I'm just gonna put this tape underneath it. All right, do you guys like my shirt? Wife, mom, boss, made that chat couture. Okay, so we're ready to go. So first we're gonna do um, this green part. And we're gonna do the hot mess technique on this because I want this to have um, a blend of two different colors. Oh shoot, I grabbed chalk and I need to get ink. So um, hang tight, I'll be right back.
Okay, so black, yellow, and then two shades of green. I'm not wild about that green, but it's all I have. Okay, and I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. Okay, so how we do the hot mess technique, for those of you who are new to Chalk Couture, is we take our little stir stick and I'm running out of this green. Okay, so you just want to spread the ink kind of throughout. And then grab your second color and put it throughout. And I feel like I need a little more of this darker green color. Whoops. All right. Here we go. So we're gonna take a small squeegee and we're just gonna spread this out. And we're just gonna go in a downward movement so that you can see each of those colors. You want to make sure you fill in every single spot. And we're done. All oh, this turned out gorgeous, you guys. Hi, Amy. So pretty okay I'm just putting this um, sorry that I'm up in your face here I am just putting this transfer into a bucket of water okay so this is gorgeous I mean this is seriously gorgeous let me show it to you can you see the different colors hi Rhonda so I am absolutely thrilled Okay, so um, we're gonna use this green again. So I'm gonna put that aside. And let me see what's next. So next we're gonna do, actually, I wanna dry this off a little bit because I don't want to um, have any kind of smears when I go to do the, um, the next transfer. Hi, Annette. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. So 
if I wanted, I could use chalk on this, but since this is going to be going outside, I wanted to make sure it was permanent. So that's why we're using ink. Okay. Um, so next... we're going to do when life gives you lemons make something sweet part we don't need to fuzz since we're working on fabric today hi Amanda okay I'm going to scooch up into this little like it was kind of like an oval there so I'm going to scooch the words up into there as much as I can. Okay, so we're going to do black for the words, but lemons is going to be yellow. And hopefully you'll be able to read. Oh my goodness, what is that? <laughs> that was weird. Okay, I'm gonna use a mini squeegee for this because these words are kind of small and I wanna make sure I don't get that mixed in there. Probably I should have done the lemons before this second black part. Okay. That is done. Now we need the yellow. Hi, Lisa. I'm going to do a mini squeegee, but then I'm also going to switch over to a um, multi-tool to get into those little spots there. to the multi-tool yeah this multi-tool helps you to get it to real small spaces and I just got a little black on there that's what I was afraid of Pam oh you got your hats I'm so excited and now you can go to the beach too that's got to be so exciting after all this time not being able to go to the beach and now you can I'm just being really careful here because I don't want to get any black inside that yellow part. So this is like coloring. Oh, 
Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab up the extra, extra chalk, I mean extra ink, and that part is done. So we're gonna use that yellow again, but we're done with this transfer. There you go, it's looking great. Now I did get a little bit of black in that L, so um, once I clean off this transfer, I'm going to go over it again in the yellow because I want that yellow to be very vibrant and beautiful. Hi, Sherry. Okay, so that turned out awesome. Um, we're going to have a lot of extra room down here. I guess if I wanted, you know what, I could pull this up and I could sew that down there too so that we don't have so much extra space. But, um, let me go ahead and get the lemon put in there. And where did the lemon go? Here it is. I'm gonna use a mini um, squeegee. Hi, Jennifer. Jennifer, how is that beautiful puppy of yours? It's looking good. Okay, um, so now I'm going to dry this off. Now this is not completely dry um, since it's with ink it's gonna take overnight for this to dry but that just gave it a little um, just a little it's not quite as wet as it was before okay I'm gonna use this darker green and a mini squeegee Okay, and now, oh gosh, I almost got some ink everywhere. I can reuse this transfer. Over on this side. I actually think I wanna use a multi-tool. I keep five of these on my table at all times. Okay. So, what I can do is I can do like a row, I could make like little chopped up ones here, you know, like throughout, just all over. That would be cute. Um, so let's go ahead and do that.
These are little um, chopped up lemons. and we'll do one more all done now it is time for the buffalo plaid so I'm going to actually I think I'm not sure I'm just gonna put these colors aside I'm not sure what how I'm gonna finish this up but for right now we're gonna get the buffalo plaid if I can find my transfer oh here it is I just ordered a new one of these um, this one is not sticky anymore at all um, and I wish that I had my new one, but I don't. So I'm just going to wing it and hope I don't make too big of a mistake. You guys able to even see me with this hat on? We were out walking today and I am hot and sweaty. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to take a small squeegee this time because I want to cover a lot more space. And I'm going left to right. Okay, this next part is going to be kind of tricky as I push this over. And I really should wait for this to dry. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to flip this around. And do it this way. Okay. All right. I 
I can't wait till I get my new buffalo plaid. Okay, so this is really um, inky. So this really needs to, it's really wet. Um, so that really needs to get um, dry. So now I think what I can do is I'm going to take this one here and take off these down here at the bottom. Pucker up and take the wedge off. Okay. So over here, I'm going to say pucker up. And then over here, it'll say, take the wedge off. And it fits just perfect. Hi, Nicole. Okay, I have ink all over my hands. How's everybody doing? You hanging in there? Okay, pucker up. This is wet. Ah, shoot. Got a little water on there. I really like it. Okay. So we can take this tape off. Okay, so now here we are. I will show you guys this whole thing in just a minute, but I want to get this ink put away because it's really kind of messy today. I feel like it's, it's all over the lid. put away. So have you guys been to um, my website and checked, have you guys checked out the new stuff, the new transfers? There is a whole section called what's new on my website and I would love it if you guys would go over there and check everything out and tell me what you like, uh, what you would like me to do next because I have almost all of those transfers um, and I would very much love to do what you guys want to see so um, if you 
yikes, if you could send me a message and say, hey, you know what, I really like this design, then I will try to do that real soon. So check that out for me and let me know what you think. And let's see, what's today's date? Is it the 26th or 27th? It's kind of hard to tell with this quarantine what any dates are. Um, don't forget about our special for the, the joining special. Okay, we're done. So let me show this to you. I really like it. This is gonna be so cool on my front front yard. Let me know if you guys like it and give me some hearts. I think the buffalo plaid down at the bottom is really cool too. Um, this greenery I love, that turned out so cool. All right, well guys, thank you so much for watching and um, I will list out the links to all of these products at the top of um, this live video. I will do that within the next hour. If anyone is interested in purchasing any of this stuff that you can make it yourself, then you'll have the exact links to find that stuff. So um, let me know what you think. Facebook loves the hearts and um, I really appreciate you watching and I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.